We're going to have a look at the feature recognition tool inside of Inventor 2010, 2011 uh, in this tip and trick. Um, this utility is going to come off the labs.autodesk.com website and uh, to get to the utility we're going to scroll down to the manufacturing tab and find the feature recognition tool. If we click on that it'll fire up the feature recognition website and inside of here we can see a brief overview so it actually shows us that the feature recognition application will convert neutral 3D CAD models such as StepSat or IGIS into fully featured Autodesk Inventor models. So the idea is that you can take a dumb solid and apply intelligence to it and populate your browser with features. Uh, on the little Get Started tab over here, if we click on that, there's a 2010 user guide and if we fire that up, it launches a PDF document and this is basically a step-by-step -step guide as to how to use the technology and how it works. So it's worth having a look at that. Now we can shoot back here quickly. Um, you'll see that the supported applications for this uh, utility are Inventor 2010, 2011, 2009, 2008 and Inventor 11 as well as the LT versions of Inventor and if we just go and have a quick look at the updates you'll see that um, on the 8th of June 2010 the 2011 installer was added as well okay so we can shoot back to the overview over here and if you watch uh, if you then click on the little video link over here we can watch the video uh, that they've posted online. This video has no sound and it's about a minute long. So I'm going to run that video now. Okay, so that's the basics uh, as a nice overview of how the utility works. Um, remember, things off of labs are beta software and are not always supported by Inventor and Autodesk. And you're not always going to get perfect results, but it's quite a nice tool and um, certainly worth a try. Thanks for having a look.